Well, it's time for another uh, tutorial. Uh, we're going to do work on uh, video editing, and particularly we're going to look at uh, animation in uh, t with text. Uh, text is an actual thing, excellent thing to start off with when we're doing our video poster, because it tells you, it, it lets you play with your titles. But animation is something that has to be done step by step, and you start off... Um, this way, I start off in GIMP doing a basic, a very basic uh, uh, animation here, and you see this one here is called uh, Text Animation Test 2D. That means there are uh, another four uh, tests to this that finally got me to the point here where I was able to set this up, and it produces the uh, GIF animation like this. This is it here. You see how it, it's, the text is moving back and forth here. See, it moves across the page here. In this text, what it's doing is it's following a path. But the thing is, is that this 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 animation is only limited to a to a GIF, and a GIF uh, can be in a web page like this, uh, but it can't be in a movie. If we want to go to a movie. Uh, we have to go to another uh, another computer, another program called Caden Live or a Standard Video Editor, and the video editor will allow us to create a standard movie. And so we'll play the movie here, and you see that the and you see that the animation is exactly the same, but instead of being a GIF file, it's now a full level animation. So going from the standard GIF file here. to the uh, animated file here, the FLV, the, the, the flash file, that's the, 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 that's the movie, standard movie file, took about five hours to really figure out and play with all the different options that, 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 that there are. And I just wanted to do this one simple test here to see how it works. The next goal is uh, I'll be adding in a, a colored background. Uh, I want the text to move along a path to... Uh, show something more specific and then I want to put graphics in the center here particularly uh, uh, an LPS though so there uh, in other words a lot of animation has to be put together and the problem is is that I said this took five hours to do five hours of playing around uh, but I've only got 10 to 15 minutes here to, to describe exactly what's happened so it does take a fair bit of time uh, to get everything done and <laughs> the outcome like this, like today's, uh, it's going to be fairly short because this is what was done. But there is now more being done. Uh, there's more on the schedule. Uh, the computer's all set up so that uh, I can do more work on a regular basis, more playing around. Uh, and I think this will uh, start getting us more into our LPS movie. So uh, I'm going to be making uh, the first LPS poster now that I've got this done. I am, I am aiming to get the first LPS poster done, the video poster done for Wednesday, in addition to going into deeper uh, looking at uh, brushes uh, within GIMP so that we can do different designs. And then from there, uh, we'll look at how we can go from this structure here within GIMP to doing, um, to, to doing uh, what they call stop motion animation and stop motion animation is where you see actual figures moving around and, and moving forwards and backwards we're going to work with all these different things but we're going to do it test by test bit by bit and then eventually once all the tests are done uh we'll put the movie together and we should have a very good uh uh movie uh or a short movie and it's going to be about 30 seconds in length Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to try to get more up on Wednesday. That, the goal is to in, improve the amount that I, actually gets done. So, uh, Wednesday, look for more. 